Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Redstone Craft. And today we take a look at a very simple 4x4 piston door. I have to admit it is pretty simple. Yeah, in the fact you can see it right here. I have to admit in the then it is pretty simple. So let us take a look at this thing then. As you can see, many of you guys have got the concept here that it mainly consists of slime blocks. And I was trying to make a face of my friend, but unfortunately I'm not that great at building so or at any creative thing. So I was not able to. If you guys are able to, please send a link down in the comment section so I can see. So as you guys can see, bam. And when we enter and we want to leave, bam. See, it's pretty dead simple. It mainly consists of a double piston extender. If you are a true redstone fan, you have understand that by right now I'm mainly making hard things simpler by using simpler concepts. It might take good number of resources but it is obviously worth the simplicity and yeah so let us get on with this tutorial so instead of uh, doing what i did in the previous video where i was teaching you guys on how to do stuff here is it i guess a double piston extender double piston extender which is being powered by a redstone block oh sorry a redstone torch <laughs> i mean the only thing I have to say here uh, is that hey, what is happening? That do not that do not place a, a block here, or if you are placing place something like obsidian, uh, nether wall block, which is immovable, so it does not cause any problems in the system. That that's my advice. Yeah. And. I guess you guys can pretty much build that. I mean, I'm gonna show the tutorial anyway. So, I guess let's start then. And so, first we have to go for a uh, layout like this. Uh, unfortunately, we have to have slime blocks in the end. You can have any block you like in the middle. And then we are gonna create a double piston extender here. You can see I have the layout for this thing. See the pressure blades I have laid out. If you want any screenshots, take take it. <laughs> and so let us start with our double piston extender. Now, one thing I would like to clarify once again that you do not need to have a block here, here. You don't need to have a block. Otherwise, the system won't work. And and we are getting a very basic. Piston extender, yeah, double piston extender. Uh, the four takes, the two takes, and the one take formula, which yeah, you guys can see is uh, works very nicely. Now the one uh, disadvantage of this thing is yeah, is that it needs to be powered equally, which means that it has to be powered in somewhat like this. yeah. With this to be, oh my god, I just realized I've built it wrong. It needs here, it needs to be two digs, and here, it needs to be four digs. <laughs> yeah, so that that's on. We are gonna make the same thing here, I guess. I'm sorry, I, I apologize for that small mistake right there. I know it could have uh, really harmed you. <laughs> This channel. Imagine a guy right there who just saw the intro and he was like, Yes, I'm gonna build that. And he builds that in a very wrong way. I will be sad if you're one of those persons. <laughs> See? So it's working. And now we need to connect it to our redstone torch. And first let us make a wall here. Yeah? Let us make a wall here. Yeah? Now one thing I will say that 
this wall here also needs to be uh, removable blocks like obsidian <laughs> i'm using bedrock right here you guys can use um your obsidian <laughs> i mean you can't get um, bedrock anyway in your survival worlds until you use some glitches or something like that so if you want any fancy logs glazed terracotta also works pretty nicely and now uh, we are gonna connect it to uh, redstone torch and create a nor gate right here a nor gate if you guys don't know it basically converts the system when the lever is activated, it does not give a signal, and when it is not activated, it gives a signal. And it is pretty simple to make, if you ask me. And now we need to do something like this here. But you guys will see that when this is power, this activates this. Oh, I'm mean, sorry. I mean to say this uh, burns this or this power. Thing, yeah. And, yeah, so now we can connect it to something like this. And similarly here, a key to making a piston door is that you should not be able to see the main bulk of the circuitry except the pistons, of course. And you guys can see that when a channel is pressure plate, this set bar activates because, well, because this system is not in line with this one, which means that it needs to run in a redstone repeater. It was being directed to somewhere else. And now you can see that this one does not do that because of some purposes and and some stuff now now one thing that i would like to say is that do not end up creating a clock like me because you know i'm stupid and stuff but do not <laughs> end up creating a clock like me um so I would suggest changing the plates a little bit back up. Yeah, yeah, it will be fine, absolutely fine. And let's do something like this. And you are pretty much done here. Now all we need to do is that uh, we need to connect uh, this thing to these torches, these pressure plates to the torches and we can do it pretty simply here yeah? by using something like this see we only deactivated one torch, but if you see closely here, uh, that when this, let me show you practically here, uh, that when this is powered, this powers this repeater, which in turn, which in turn uh, powers the other one. So we are practically powering the repeater that powers. Uh, and D powers the other block. Sorry for that complicated <laughs> explanation right here. I'm, I'm sorry for that. Uh, yep. Now we need to change this because the system realizing that this is actually still powered even after we have taken the lever it can sometimes happen and now you can see this is a fully functioning piston door <laughs> and yeah I've just realized that these two are not in symmetry which 
Right here from the other guy. I think I'm like, are you out there? What? No, it is. In line. So, I guess. Please make sure. Please make sure to leave a like if you really enjoyed. And if you really, really loved it, then please consider subscribing. This has been Deep, and I will catch you in the next video.